So anyway, but man, yeah. Neil deGrasse came back with his response, man, and that's that video going viral, man. Mm-hmm. Like it's within twenty four hours, it's over three million views, man. Yeah, that's 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 People Shannon are, Sharp Cat Williams numbers. Yeah, people really wanted. Look, I knew people was into that Terrence Howard thing, but mm-hmm. to realize how much people are really into that Terrence Howard scenario lets you know they would just. You said it during the episode we recorded. You were like, "I wish a real scientist would come out and just speak on it." Yeah, and now yeah. Neil is like the one to step up to the plate, and he's like one of the guys with the most uh, prominent name in the science mm-hmm. community amongst casual people. Like, right. is, who is it? Uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson and the science guy. Uh, what's my man's name? Uh, Bill Nye. Bill Nye. <laughs> yeah. Them like the top scientists we know. And then uh, maybe a Michu Kaku. I don't know if everybody mm-hmm. know who that is. But so anyway, Terrence Howard called him out in the interview and said, hey, you know, I sent my stuff, my work off to Neil deGrasse and he trashed Tesla and he trashed all these other people. He won't feel it. So Neil came back at him and he was like, man, I'm going to go. He printed off the paperwork what I sent him. He was like, I'm going to go through all of this. So Neil was pretty much like, look, in our community, when somebody comes up with new theories, we send it off to the homies. The homies have a responsibility to us to let us know if we're tripping or not. So Mm -hmm. he said, I went through each section of his uh, paperwork and I tore it down, but not in a malicious way, in a way where, you know, how we treat one another to let each other know where we're on track and where we're off track. And he said, I felt like I had uh, a bond of sort with him and I owed it to him. So he's like, I didn't go as mean as I could because I felt like we were cool, you know, but I did do what we do. Yeah. And it seems like Terrence didn't like that. You know, Terrence was affected by it. You know, he he took it personally. I feel like with, with with Terrence, he's a he's a movie star. He's an actor. He's somebody who's in popular culture. Mm-hmm. He's not somebody who's just behind the scenes working on science projects, even though he is behind the scenes working on science projects. But he's just not right. that. So he's used to a certain type of reception. I'm Terrence Howard. Actor, movie, light skin, green eyes, like you're supposed to love me. Superstar. No matter what I do. Superstar treatment. You know what I'm saying? Um, like just feel like he, if you walk into a room, you should get that acknowledgement of who he is. But now you're into another realm. You know, you're another realm. You're not yeah. going to as, as, as movie star, this guy, that guy. You're in the science realm. And them, them guys don't, don't, don't care about your, your celebrity. They care more about that, that theory more so than anything. They care more about those, those mathematics, those formulas, um, how things are being broken down in, in a productive in 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 a, in a correct, productive way, and I feel I feel like that's what happened with him. Like, hey, look, you just got a wake up call, and everybody sitting by the sidelines, especially um all of our modern nerds, <laughs> right, right, you know, sitting back in the in in, in the um in the in the um in the stands waiting for it to go down, and I believe that's what happened. That's what happened. Yeah, it's like, hey, you got to take that on the chin. It's like this is this is this is this this is their WWE. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, the league, so, uh, Neil said called and I had never heard of this prior to him saying it, but it's interesting. He said it's for Terrence Howard, this is the uh drunning uh Kruger effect. Now what this is is when someone studies something enough to have to feel like they have an understanding of it, but doesn't study it enough to know when they're wrong. Uh, so okay. you can study some information. And then feel like you get it and you're right about what you think about it. Mm -hmm. But you don't study it enough to know what other people have already done research on. So he's basically like these, like you said, these scientists have dedicated their whole life to studying these things. They've been locked in in a room somewhere studying this information their entire life, 40 years, 50 years sometimes, you know. Mm -hmm. And this guy who's been balancing being an actor along with, and that being his primary focus, along with right. these secondary things on the back end, you, how can you come into my world and just be like, hey man, all the work that all of our community is doing is wrong and we don't know what we're talking about. Yeah. And you figure that out do, doing it part-time. You've part-time. overlooked everything else they've done prior to, for hundreds of years prior to us. We, we're all studying this information, building on it, rebuilding, restructuring these ideas. 
and you just come in without it. It, yeah. it is a real yeah. arrogance to that. Like it is. And and the part that got me watching the Joe Rogan um episode with Terrence Howard was seeing the heartbrokenness of his theories kind of being broken down a little bit. But that's that's science. I come from a science background of education, um, with my degree in biology. And we always know, like when you hypothesize something, you're going in with the idea of it being broken down. Like you have to test your theories. You have to test your ter- theories for error and understand that, hey, that, there might be errors and holes in my theory. It's right. going to be, it's, 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 it's got to be because nothing's 100 um, proof, 100 percent all the way down. Even even the most um, understood piece of science that we know, there's always that point zero 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 one percent of doubt in that that theory could be correct Mm -hmm. we all know that as 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 as, i guess science studiers right and what neil was pretty much saying is a lot of your theories only fit in one little box they don't apply across the board in other places and if it doesn't if it only applies in one aspect, not multiple ones, and it can't be replicated by just anybody, you don't have a theory yet. And that was kind of his point. And Neil politely tore him a new one, you know, in his video. He didn't, he didn't, he wasn't disrespectful, but he was pretty much like, you out of your league, kid. Like, you know, you, <laughs> and I was trying to be nice, but now you're making this public and, and bringing me into it. This is what it is. This is the paperwork. And he read through all the sections and like, this, these were my responses and why. Like, hey, I felt kind of bad for Terrence afterwards, man. I'm gonna be honest. I, I didn't. I didn't. 